Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina. In this video, let's talk about the geometric optics. Here is a summary of the general sign conventions for a lens. You can post the video here to take a screenshot or take some notes for yourself. So for thin lens, we have the thin lens equation, which describes the relationship between the object distance, image distance, and the focal length. Focal length is positive when we have a converging lens, that is when the lens is thicker in the center. And the focal length is negative when we have a diverging lens. A diverging lens is when the center is thinner. And the object distance, s, it is positive when it is on the same side as the incoming light, and we call that a real object. We can also have virtual object when we have a combination of lenses and mirrors. In that case, the object is on the opposite side as the incoming light. And s prime is the image distance. It is positive when the image is on the same side as the outgoing light. And it is negative when it is on the opposite side. And when it's positive, we call that the image is real. And if s prime is negative, then we call the image is a virtual image. And the lateral magnification m, it's positive when the image is upright, and it's negative when the image is inverted. The sign conventions also work for spherical mirrors. The mirror equation looks exactly the same as the thin lens equation, with the focal length equals to radius of curvature divided by 2. The radius of curvature is positive when the mirror is concave, that is when the center of the sphere is on the same side as the outgoing light. And it is negative when we have a convex mirror, that is when the center of curvature is on the opposite side as the outgoing light. Here's a diagram. On the left, we have a concave mirror, so the reflected surface is on the inner side of the sphere. Then the C indicates the center of this sphere. The outgoing light is on the same side since reflected surface will reflect the incoming light. So the outgoing light is on the left of the mirror, which is on the same side as the center. So for concave mirror, R, the radial curvature is positive. On the other hand, on the right, we have a convex mirror, which means the reflected surface is on the other side of the sphere. Then the outgoing light is on the left of the mirror, but the center of the sphere is on the right, which is on the opposite side. So for convex mirror, the radius of curvature is negative. The other sign conventions, the object distance, image distance, and the lateral magnification is the same as for the lens. Now let's look at two examples. In this example, we have a converging lens. A 4 cm tall object is placed a distance 45 cm from a converging lens. The converging lens has a focal length of 15 cm, determining the image distance and the image size. Let's start with a simple sketch. So we have a converging lens. This converging lens has a focal length of 15 centimeters. And it's positive since it is a converging lens. And an object of 4 centimeters tall, here is the H, and it is 4 centimeters tall. This object is 45 centimeters away. So this would be the object distance, S. Then to find the image distance, we are going to use the thin lens equation. 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance, S prime, and this equals to 1 over F. So S prime would be the inverse of 1 over F minus 1 over S. We plug in the numbers. F is positive 15 centimeters. And S is positive 45 centimeters. And we get S prime equals to 22.5 centimeters. And it is positive. We also want to find the image size, which means we want the H prime. We know that the lateral magnification m equals to h prime divided by h 
and it also equals to negative s prime divided by s. So we can find the lateral modification from the later form, then use the m to find the h prime. So let's substitute numbers for s and s prime. s is positive 45 centimeters, and s prime is positive 22.5 centimeters. So the lateral modification is negative half. So h prime is the object height times the lateral magnification. Object height is 4 centimeters, and the lateral magnification is negative half. So the image height would be negative 2 centimeters. The negative here means that the image will be inverted. Now let's sketch the image on the diagram. We have S prime is positive, which means the image will be on the same side as the outgoing light. So it will be on the right of the lens. And it will be inverted since m is negative. It will be reduced by half because h prime is 2 centimeters. So the image will be around here. h prime is negative 2 centimeters. And s prime is positive 22.5 centimeters. Now let's look at the second example. Here we have a convex mirror. The same object is placed a distance 36 centimeters from the convex mirror. The mirror has a radius of curvature of 24 centimeters. We also want to determine the image distance and the image size. Let's start with a sketch. So we have a convex mirror and the same object with height of 4 centimeters is placed 36 centimeters from the convex mirror. So S is positive 36 centimeters. And H, the height, is 4 centimeters. It's given that the radius of curvature is 24 centimeters. However, we have a convex mirror, so R would be negative. It will be negative 24 centimeters. Then to find the image distance, we can use the mirror equation. 1 over the object distance plus 1 over image distance s prime, and this equals to 2 over the radius of curvature. So we can solve for s prime. It will be the inverse of 2 over r minus 1 over s. Then we substitute the numbers. Radius of curvature is negative 24 centimeters. And the object distance, S, is positive 36 centimeters. And we get S prime is negative 9 centimeters. S prime is negative, which means the image will be on the opposite side as the outgoing light. Here we have a mirror, so the light will not go through like through the lens the light will be reflected. So the outgoing light is on the left, which means the image will appear on the right of the mirror, that is behind the mirror. And we also want to find the image size. So we need to find the lateral magnification, that is h prime over h, which also equals to negative of s prime divided by s. s prime is negative 9 centimeters and s is positive 36 centimeters. So the lateral magnification is positive 1 over 4, which means the image height is a quarter of the object size, that is h times m. Object height is 4 centimeters, and m is 1 over 4. So the image is only 1 centimeter. It's positive, which means the image will be upright, and it will be 9 centimeters behind the mirror, so the image will look like this. Here, S prime is negative 9 centimeters, and H prime is 1 centimeters. And that is the end of the video. 
If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.